What's going on guys? Hope everybody's doing well. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about this Impact Weapons Components light mount for the Benelli M4. Now while we're out here at the range, I'm just going to get some good footage running this gun with the light on, and then we'll head back to the house and talk a little bit more about this sure setup. you guys are familiar with Impact Weapons Components. They are a company right here in the USA. All their parts are US made, lifetime warranty. They make a bunch of different mounts, a bunch of different accessories, including the Thorntail mount, which is a very, very popular mount. Now this mount here is made out of 6061 T6 aluminum. It is type 3 hard anodized, which is like a mil spec anodizing. All in all, very, very tough finish. And what I like about this light mount is they put a ton of thought, a ton of design into it, and kept it simple at the same time. So on the Benelli M4, we have a lug, which sits right up here. And that lug typically has a little sling loop and a snap ring to keep it into place. Well, we're gonna pop off that snap ring, pop off the sling loop, install the new mount around the snap ring groove. So once it's on there, it's really not going anywhere. And it is a two piece design. It has a top, then a bottom with two screws that go right there through the bottom. And just like any accessory you're gonna put on a firearm, make sure you use Loctite. Now getting into some of the features of the actual mount, and I really like the features. I feel like it is a very, very versatile mount. You can pretty much do anything you want with this mount. Now on both sides of this specific mount, we do have a scout style light, more or less mounting system. And what's cool about that, you can mount your light on one side, and then you can also mount a Picatinny rail on the other side if you wanted to. I personally don't have a need to mount anything else, but that is something that you could do. Now I also want to point out that there are a few different configurations of this mount for the Benelli M4. There's one that comes factory with a 1913 rail on there. So if you wanted to run something like a Streamlight TLR1HL or a Surefire X300 or any of the other 500 weapon lights that are out there, you can mount that directly to the 1913 Picatinny rail or you can order this mount here that has the Scout style adapter. You can run all of the Surefire Scout lights all the Streamlight rail mount lights, the HLX, the rail mount one, the rail mount two, they will all bolt right up to this mount. Now on the bottom of this mount, you're gonna see our hole right here and our other hole right there. Those are both anti-rotation QD sling mounts and that's pretty much the last thing that I'm waiting on for this shotgun is a rear QD sling mount from Impact Weapons Components and once that arrives, I will have a Blue Force Gear Vickers sling on here, which I have the sling ready to go. And these Blue Force Gear Vickers slings have easily became my favorite slings. I know there are a lot of great slings on the market, but these are about 50 bucks. I own quite a few of them. I don't know, they've just really became my favorite slings. But as you guys can see, that mounts up really nicely there. It is anti-rotation, and like I said, you can run it on either side. Now the Benelli M4 is one of those guns that every aftermarket accessory is ridiculously expensive, but with this Impact Weapons Components mount, I think right now they're on sale for like 65 bucks, which really isn't bad at all for the quality of this mount. Now I'm gonna try to get some decent close-ups, and I have noticed the last few times of filming that my camera really isn't doing the autofocus that I want it to, so I think I'm gonna be upgrading my camera soon, but I will try to get some of these close-ups here for you guys to have a better look at this mount but all in all the impact weapons components light mount is just like I said it's clean it's sleek it's lightweight I know it weighs under two ounces I think it was like 1.67 ounces I want to say and the fact that you can still disassemble the gun with no tools needed is just a huge plus now if you guys have any further questions on the impact weapons components light mount definitely leave it down in the comment section below I'm gonna go ahead and roll in some range footage so until next time, thank you guys for watching. Please like, share, subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next one.